Hey y'all, Jeff Slayer here. I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix, and today we're gonna to be going through how to deploy a Meteor app to IBM Bluemix. Meteor is a pretty cool framework. Uh, it's basically all JavaScript um, for an application. You can do really cool things with WebSockets and makes it really incredibly easy. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and we're going to go to a URL. It's gonna be ibm.biz slash meteor dash build pack. It'll take us to a page on GitHub. Basically, we're gonna follow these steps how to get a sample Meteor app working in Bluemix today. So first things first, we need to have Meteor installed. If you don't have Meteor installed, go to Google, type in Meteor install, and click on this first link here. It'll give you some pretty simple instructions on how to install Meteor. You need to do this first and then we can proceed on. I already have Meteor installed, so I'm going to skip over installing Meteor. So coming back to GitHub, all we need to do is basically copy and paste these commands. So I'm going to copy this command. I'm going, to, I'm going to go to Terminal. If I was on Linux, I'd go to Terminal as well. If I was on Windows, I would go to Start and type in CMD for command line. So I'll go to the Terminal, paste this in. It's going to create basically a, a sample app for uh, Meteor. So we're going to cd into the directory. Let's check out some of the files. Let's just run it to make sure everything's working. So it's going to install a couple dependencies, say it's connected to MongoDB, give me a URL to hit the application. So let's go check it out. Okay, so basically the app is up and running. It's just a simple leaderboard showing some stats uh, for people and points. Great, that's working. So let's. Ha how do we get this in Bluemix? So the next step is we need uh, this Cloud Foundry command line. If you do not have the Cloud Foundry command line, go to bluemix.net. I'll put the link down below as well. Click on Docs. And type in command line. Click Start Coding with the Cloud Foundry command line. Basically, they'll give you some nice little steps to follow right here. I'll put this link down below later for everyone as well. So let's go back to GitHub. Someone copy this long string of text here, and I'll explain what it's doing before I hit Enter. So we'll go back to Terminal. We're going to go ahead and kill the app we're running locally paste in this command. So what this is saying is going to upload an app called Leaderboard using the Meteor build pack to Bluemix and it's not going to start the application. So this is important where it's not going to start the application because when we're running locally, it is using MongoDB. And we'll need to attach MongoDB to Bluemix as well. So down here on the bottom, it says Leaderboard is taken. That's because Leaderboard needs to be a unique name. So I'm going to give it something unique. So I'll do Leaderboard dash JBS and the number five. Okay, it should go pretty quick. It's gonna upload a couple files to Bluemix. And due to movie magic, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead on this part. It's just gonna upload some, some of the dependencies to Bluemix. So we can see here, it took a little while to upload to the application in Bluemix. There's a bunch of binary files for running the app locally, but it's done uploading. So the next step is we need to attach a database to the app. We have two options here. So we'll switch back to GitHub. And there's two options here. We can either use MongoDB, which is a built-in MongoDB to Bluemix, pretty simple to use, or you, can <clears throat> or you can use MongoLab, which is basically an awesome hosted version of, of MongoDB. So I'm going to go through how you would do both. So we'll copy this command here. It says CF create service MongoDB 100 and then the name of the service. So we'll paste that in. And what this is doing, it's going to create a service of the type MongoDB. The plan is 100 and this means 100 megs and then the name of the service leaderboard dash MongoDB. So we'll paste that, hit enter. Okay, we got a service created. 
And let's go ahead, the next step is, let's go back to GitHub and look at the next step. So we want to attach that service to, the, to our app. We'll copy this command here. We'll paste that in as well. Before hit, hitting enter though on this one, we need to change the name of the app where it says leaderboard right here. Above, I use leaderboard dash JBS five. So I need to type in the same thing here. This is a really important step. If you don't do this right, it won't work. So go ahead and hit enter after you change the name. Okay, so that's basically it. So now we just need to start the application. But before I, let's go ahead and start the app. So we're going to type in CF start leaderboard dash JBS five, the name of the application. And let's go ahead and go ahead and start the application. And then due to movie magic, I'm gonna make this go by a little quicker. It should take no more than one or two minutes for you. Okay, it looks like our application came up and everything's ready to go. Let's go ahead and copy the URL to make sure everything works. Copy the URL here, take it to the web browser, paste it in. And we should see, yeah, it came in. So let's go ahead and pull up another browser to show off some cool features of, of uh, Meteor. So I'm gonna to go to the same URL in a different browser. And it's gonna show how easy WebSockets is to do some of this stuff. Let's see if I can resize this. There we go, that's a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the player here and we're gonna increment their, their stats. And everything updates in real time. So Meteor is really cool for making WebSock, it's super simple. So let's go ahead and switch this to Mongo Lab instead of um, the built-in Mongo database. So to do that, we're going to remove the other Mongo DB service from the app. So we're going to type in CF unbind service, then the name of the app leaderboard dash JBS five. And the name of the service was called Mongo leaderboard dash Mongo DB. So what this says is we're going to remove the service called leaderboard dash Mongo DB from our app called leaderboard dash JBS five. Hit enter. We only really want one database attached to our app so things don't get confusing. Okay, that's successful. So let's go back to GitHub to copy the rest of the instructions we need to do. So we'll scroll down to Mongo Lab. We're gonna copy this command here to create a service for Mongo Lab. We'll paste that in. And again, this is saying we're gonna create a service called uh, leaderboard-mongo lab this time. And so type Mongo Lab and the plan is sandbox. We're gonna hit enter. This will only take a second. Okay, it comes back successful. And now we need to attach that service to our application since we removed the other one. So we're gonna copy this command here and paste it again back in terminal. And again, we need to change the name of the application here because leaderboard doesn't exist for me. It's leaderboard-jbs5. Go ahead and hit enter on that. This should only take a second as well. So it says we need to restart the app. Okay. So the last thing we need to do to get Mongo Lab working is just to restage the app. Basically, this just allows it to pick up the new uh, database. So we'll type in CF restage, the name of our app, leaderboard-jbs5. And this will take a second to run, maybe a minute or two max. I'm going to use some video editing magic to speed this up, but yours shouldn't take too long. So it looks like our app has come up. Let's go ahead and copy the URL and take it to our browser again. And we're going to just double check that it's pointing to the new database this time. So if we look here in the browser, we'll go back to the app. It's already reloaded actually. So the, the number here that was here was about a hundred and some. So we're just gonna refresh it, show it still works. Pull up this other browser. Let's go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier. Go ahead and increment this counter. And this is all in real time, but it's pointing to a different database. So that's using Mongo Lab this time. So that's basically it. We learned today how to deploy a Meteor app to IBM Bluemix and to walk through this yourself, uh, go to the URL down below. It's ibm.biz slash meteor dash build pack. And again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.